Hi there, happy Tuesday. Um, today we're going to talk about um, breaking unhealthy, unhealthy habits, <clears throat> whatever that is for you, if it's around food or doom scrolling or, you know, whatever it is, we're talking about breaking those unhealthy habits. And especially those ones that you've been working on for a while. That, that you've tried time and time again and just are having a hard time quitting or whatever it is, whatever this unhealthy habit is, right? And so I feel like sometimes um, we skip multiple steps in between, um, I want to stop doing this thing, and then it's like, well, just stop. And that expectation that that can just happen without further awareness is what can get in the way this idea of just stop just use your willpower just whatever it is um that can get in the way of being successful if you don't figure out like why are you doing this thing to begin with right so first we have to break it down into why are you doing this unhealthy habit why and there's really only two reasons either it gives you some type of pleasure what whatever that is either it gives you some type of pleasure or it is allowing you to avoid other things. Oftentimes these unhealthy habits aren't because they're necessarily pleasurable because you'll come out of it saying, oh man, like, like with regret and like, why did I do that? And oh, I said I wouldn't do that. Because it might be that you're not doing it for the pleasure of the activity or the thing itself, but it's more about when you're doing this, you're avoiding other things and you know, just throwing this out there, emotional avoidance is one of the most common forms of avoidance and also the most damaging that we don't pay any attention to. If we're not paying attention to our emotions, we're not paying attention that the thing that we're doing, we're using to avoid this, this thing, right? So first, it's incredibly important to identify why are you doing the thing? Are you doing the thing because it itself is pleasurable? And, and you're just indulging, like, is it an indulgence? And, and, you know, you're saying, oh, it's just a treat or, you know, it's just a celebration or it's just a whatever, or, you know, so is there really genuinely some pleasure in there? And so you're just looking for more pleasure, even though you know that it's not necessarily healthy for you, or is it avoidance? I do this when I'm avoiding thinking about stressful things thinking about conversations that I have to have, thinking about incidents that bring up, uh, you know, um, emotions that you just don't want to engage in. You just don't want the emotion, so you avoid it by doing something else. So first acknowledge, like really figure that out. Is it for pleasure or avoidance? If it is for pleasure, we definitely want to take a look at what are, like this is also a missing piece oftentimes when we're talking about this. like. This is going to sound pretty simple and it kind of is right what are other things that give you more pleasure than the bad habit and i guarantee you they're in there there are other things in your life that give you even more pleasure than this thing right so like if if the thing that you're doing is you know sweet snacks or overeating or you know something around that um, you know, if it gives you a man, but man, it tastes good. Like it tastes good. It gives me pleasure. Like I just, mm, it tastes good. Um, then we look into what are other things. So like, you know, like I need my, I need my chocolate. I need my chocolate. What are the things that give you even more pleasure than chocolate? Right? Like, and really allow yourself to sit down and, and look at that. What are the things that give you even more pleasure? Like, is it a particular type of sex? Is it a particular type of conversation? Remember those yummy, yummy conversations that we have when we're like just first meeting someone and we're on the phone until all, you know, and now I'm showing my age that we're on the phone versus texting. But still, I think that that's still a thing, like those big in-depth conversations when we're getting to know someone, um, explorations of any type. Are there any guilty pleasury type of learning or reading or, you know, like any anything outside? So the other thing that I'm getting to is you don't necessarily have to spend money in order to reward yourself, celebrate, or find pleasure. If that's a concern of, okay, Nance, but you know, chocolate's cheap. Like I could do that, but I can't be taking a vacation every time I want to celebrate something or I can't. And that's okay. There are absolutely free things that feel better 
than even your guilty pleasures, than even chocolate, right? And so if whatever, so these are the steps. Identify what the thing is, that the bad habit that you want to break. Determine, are you doing it for pleasure or for avoidance? If it's for pleasure, take some time with yourself at a time when you're not tempted, that you're not craving, at a time when you're very neutral, and figure out what do you enjoy even more than that thing? What are some some things that really are yummy and even more yummy than whatever your chocolate is? And if it's avoidance, then go back and, and watch some more of my videos, anything around emotions and stuff like that. And we can get into that as well of the importance of emotional um, awareness and presence and all of those things. But today we're talking about the pleasure part. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Also, let me know, you know, what is getting in the way of these things being successful for you. Let me know if there's any other topics you want me to talk about. I want to know, please, please, please engage. Let me know um, what you want to hear from me and maybe it'll be in one of these Tuesday videos. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye-bye.